What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into tea room. Neek shocked the king. Elena were caught linking during a relationship. Regina, let's get it. So previously, I spoke on Regina possibly being back with her ex after they broke up for a brief period. Now, I stated that they were both spotted. For out example, in a- this is a great example. <laughs> Everybody said T Room was lying when she said these two was back together or whatever. And everybody say- was saying this ain't the same area when in fact it is just flipped backwards. Okay. As you can see on the right side, well, to my right, as if y'all watching the video on the right, you can see that these buildings that's on his left is behind Regine. The damn umbrellas is flipped because he is by the red umbrella. <laughs> okay. I just want to put that out there. Y'all. She not wrong for reporting this. And she wasn't wrong with, with the situation. I granted T room be wrong about a couple things, but this right here, she wasn't wrong about Okay. She took a picture on this side. He took a picture on the other side. Simple and plain. LA. Now they weren't spotted out together, but they were in the same area around the same time. We'll just confirm yesterday that Regine is back with her boyfriend. Someone spotted them on camera in LA holding hands. Are you a little Wayne's daughter? Oh my God. I am such a huge fan of you. And little Wayne knows me. I, yeah, yeah. He, I, I've been in his house on South Beach, North Beach, or whatever. I, I, I wish you guys the best relationship ever. Oh, My name is Steven Joe. Okay, Mr. Kaka. Have a beautiful day. Sexy Red don't got nothing on you. You the real Sexy Red. You don't even know who that is. That's Lil Wayne's daughter. Huh? No, never mind. Y'all, y'all huh? have a good day. He right here. Lil Wayne right here. Ugh. That's Regine Carter. Yes, Regine Carter. God bless you. So now yesterday I spoke about this whole situation with King and Lena. Now they posted a video on their channel titled our four year anniversary. And everyone was a bit confused because if they were together for four years, then that would bring their relationship into June, 2020, which King was still with Neek in June of 2020. So Lena left a comment that stated King and I started talking early December of 2020, right before the new year. Found out I was pregnant in April 2021. He made me officially his girlfriend June 2021. It's three years officially being together, but we had already been living together before we made it official. It was already confirmed that I was not the girl he cheated on Neek with by her own mouth. Y'all are literally reaching and trying so hard to paint us to be these horrible people. At this point, it's such a repetitive situation to keep speaking about. We're engaged, beautiful family, happy and making money. Leave us alone. We don't care about this ish. Y'all swear we want slash need this negative attention. So now people started putting on their detective hats and going back on Instagram and noticing that King and Lena were in the same places around the same time. Like here, they were both in Cali posted only a few days apart. Oh my God. <laughs> Did King skip this part in the video? <laughs> this was way worse than what Boy said. What? I will say that's not the same car. But. He liked her picture that day. What the fuck? No, they addressed this. What did they say? See, I should have watched their videos first. And look, it's in 2020. And if you guys didn't remember, Neek did state that King cheated on her while he was out in Cali. Then also in 2020 of June, Lena was spotted out in Miami. But guess who else appeared to be in Miami in June? King posted on Twitter, music video in Miami in June. He writes on Twitter, May 25th, going to Miami, F it. Any Miami girls wanna be in a music video? Then he states, 
music video in Miami in June. So this must have been just a coincidence that they were in the same city twice in the same summer. Cause Lena is stating she didn't meet King until December of 2020. So you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. But now Ashley, which is the girl that Neek thought that he was cheating on her with, had some things to say. She went onto my YouTube video and left a comment as well. She stated, I'm gonna say this and read this real carefully. I'm not no YouTuber. I don't benefit from none of this. I took so much stuff from these two individuals. I ain't ever been quiet as long as I see these two being clown that girl posted one of the most vulnerable moments on the internet that was personal and traumatizing and now that I know that she posted her damn miscarriage I'd be pissed off too I didn't know that so oh I don't remember that rather uh. I ain't never gonna let that go. Some of the ones calling me obsessed or bitter, I'll be that. But as long as karma is working, I'ma keep being joyful. My therapist said I won't heal until I get my hands on the problem. So with that being said, every single time I see something negative about them, I'ma add my two cents. Get used to it. Love y'all. Some people also felt like Nick and her mom may have been throwing a little shade at the situation as well. <laughs> So they were seeing. I just think that that was the. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. And Tony Braxton, he wasn't man enough for me. But let's move on to this next topic with Carmen and Corey. Now, recently, Corey posted a video. Where he gave an apology to his ex-wife, Carmen. My supporters, I apologize to um, uh, my ex-wife. You feel me? Like, even though you know I have valid reasons why I acted the way I acted at the end of the day. A lot of my actions are not sustainable. I don't know. In some way, I feel like Corey well. has already done enough damage here. I mean, Carmen left him and she was all good. She was succeeding. She met a new guy. Then he brought her back. Now, a lot of people aren't wanting to support her anymore because they feel like she's going to go back to Corey. Now, Corey has moved on and is in a new relationship where he's stating that he's really happy. I mean, last night he was out with his new girlfriend and they got a flat tire. But I will say his new girlfriend, she don't be playing with Corey at all. She checks him every chance that she gets. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's 620. Two four zero six five seven. Crazy. Five, hey gang, nigga. <laughs> oh, nigga been cut up too bad. Oh my god, nigga side on side road, a flat tie in the hill cat. Bro, that boy better be careful, boy. He doing a lot in them car. Oh. Y'all would have had no clue what I deal oh, with tonight. Boy. Well, I said yesterday because it's 12 o'clock right now. So, yeah, 12 for the 9. But. I'm so drunk, bro. How the fuck I get this drunk? And they be drunk as hell just driving everywhere. That's funny shit. Hey, who you on the phone with? Hey, man, can you, I'm on live. Get back. Go, 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 go with that. Go. Go get who the you camera. on the phone with? I'm on live. I'm on my Instagram. Why the fuck you on live? <laughs> Yo, I was just telling you the part just happened. You tweet. You sitting here saying our address on live. Nah, they, on live. they ain't hear you. You're on live, babe. I'm saying our address they on the fucking it. live, bro. Yeah, go now. Go to the why are you Why are you kicking me off now? <laughs> I'm thinking you on the phone, nigga. No, good, babe, but no, no, I'm trying to take the chemistry recording. Nigga, who gives a fuck? You on live? I'm Gee, saying that our memory. Uh -uh, that memory. Go stop that. Go no. stop that. That's memory. Uh, uh Stop that shit. Hell no. Nah, that extra memory on my memory card for no reason. Fuck that. I get you, baby. Stop that camera. Tell her we'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. So we'll be back She's so down. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, look, babe. Hear me out. So smooth game. <laughs> <laughs> My man never let me call him. I'm right here. <laughs> I swear to God, if was a person, it's you, bro. I don't mind. I'm good with being weird. The same way you do. 
the hell? Exact same way. What? I'm gonna tweak out my body. I swear to God, I'm gonna tweak out my body. Like dead ass. Yeah, I have no clue. See, I'm at that point in my life, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Right here. I'm bringing it to him. Tell nigga. Tell nigga out rock right, nigga. <laughs> I see. Tweak out my body, bro. I ain't hear none of that shit. I don't hear that. The fuck? The fuck? Give me the key. I'm coming. And you sitting here popping it on his live? Is that what you're doing? I ain't talking about you. Oh, okay. So, so what does what, what it matter? Huh. She putting that, y'all, she putting that, that, that good on that nigga. He can't even take it. He like, say whatever you want to me, say whatever, however you want to say it, as long as you give me some of that pussy. Uh, well, y'all understand, boy. All right, I let me go before this motherfucker get her finger and tweak it out. I ain't got time for this shit. What is he doing, bro? Does she not know you can't? Look, 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 look at these characters. <laughs> that nigga be too drunk doing shit. Way too drunk doing shit. But that's him. Um, Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.